Guten Tag and welcome, and welcome back to Dirk Club. All right, we have played a whopping one match since we've last seen you, but we have our final German, well, potentially final German Cup match against RBL today. I actually did this whole video, and it was spectacular. You wouldn't, have, you, you wouldn't believe how great everything went, how awesome I was, uh, how, how smooth the game ran, how beautiful it looked, how well our players played. And I was finishing it up, and I looked down and realized I'd never hit record. So, yeah. Anyway, we did actually play the match um, against RBL, and we lost one zip in a closely, taught ga closely fought game. Uh, I thought, since it is kind of the last scheduled match of the season for us to show this, uh, because it's the final cup match, remember our original kind of promise to you was that you would see all of the UEFA Cup matches and the German Cup matches, and then we try to get the heck out, right? That, that was the plan. So uh, I thought it was a little bit unfair to skip that last kind of regularly scheduled video for you. So instead, we are going to redo it. Uh, I did kind of wonder if there was any sort of realistic chance that we were going to win this and somehow change history. I simulated it four or five times. I just hit show result to see what would happen. And we lost every time, usually much worse than 1-0. So I, I honestly don't expect us. We shouldn't win this. We don't really want to win it, but I'd rather not be embarrassed either. So let's go ahead and see what's going on, and we'll play the match. You'll get one last bit of uh, me getting my butt kicked within uh, additional competition kind of action. So let's go to the game action here. And there we go. There we go. All right. So you can see right here, this is our cup match against RBL today. Um, since the Gelsenkirchen match that you saw, we did have one little bit of transfer news. Uh, we sold Alexander Chernyshev. He was the young rookie that we brought out. Well, rookie. The young striker that we brought in last season when all of our strikers were injured, but we were in the middle of, a, of, of the first half of the season. And all we could do was bring in a free. Uh, so he was a free, and we've sold him for 650 and potentially 900,000. He is just beginning to uh, retrain again and get ready to come back. He's been injured all season. But I mean, we made 900,000 on a, on a free, and he filled in for us admirably when we needed him to. Uh, but we have Patrick Bosa now for our young striker, kind of hot shot kid. So uh, he has me, he is a little bit redundant at the moment. So that is about all for that. We do have one more bit of news right there. Uh, I was linked to the Liverpool match. I said, wow, that would be a dream job. I applied for it. Uh, then the board demanded to know why I was talking about other jobs and threatened to fire me instantly unless I came to a meeting to explain my actions. And I said, hey, it's a good job. If you fire me, you're not going to get any compensation, though. And they went, oh, shit, money. Yeah, we're not happy with you, but we can't really do anything because we'd kind of like to get paid. Um, so, yeah. So, Liverpool support spokesperson has admitted that I'm amongst their leading candidates. They have not given me an interview yet. I do have a compensation fee, but it's not very much because my contract is almost done. Um, I've got 11 years of experience so far. Uh, the board is also pissed, though, that, again, despite the fact that they didn't want to fire me because they'd lose the compensation, uh, they're disappointed because the compensation isn't going to be very much because I'm almost done. So apparently I'm not supposed to try to take care of myself as, uh, as my contract winds down. Although, to be fair, they did try to start... Um, uh, they did try to get me uh, to start a conversation about a new contract, and I just turned them down. So anyway... There is that. Let's go ahead and take a look at our squad for the day. Uh, nothing too shocking. We've got Tommy Gordon and Patrick Bosa as our strikers. Uh, Gordon, uh, Kappa's been very good, but Kappa and Gordon are both left-footed, so I end up with two left-footed uh, strikers, and one of them has to play on the right. So instead, I've decided that we're going to go Bosa and Gordon because Bosa's right-footed. So kind of gives us a guy on the right, guy on the left. that's happy being there. We'll go with it. Andreas Seikert is going to continue to be our AMC. Uh, Suarez, Achenberg, and Juan Jose Vega will be our midfielders, uh, center midfielders at this point. I do have Oliver in. Oliver is um, very, very similar to Kamada. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at that. 
you can see he's just a little bit better kind of on the defensive side of things and obviously better in aerial but you know kind of this is pretty similar come is a touch more physical and then the other thing is we had been playing uh it's gonna find us here we had been playing onuka there now onuka is kind of overall well total ability similar but as you can see here he's much more uh he's more attacking so his technical his attacking and his vision balance out a lack of mental defending and physical uh, and Ariel is almost identical for him and Kamada. So the difference between Onuka and Kamada is just Kamada is more defensive. Onuka is more offensive. But uh, Ali's better than both of them, although he does tilt more towards the defensive side than the offensive side. You can, you can see if we look at the rings here on the back side, he is into this you know, second most outside ring. Uh, whereas his offensive is in here, so and Onuka's is there. So we, we're going to start with Ollie, but if we need an offensive spark, we can swap in Onuka as we need to. So let's go ahead and tactics-wise, no real change. This is what we've been for the last couple matches. Uh, it is RBL, so I'm... Now we're going to stay attacking. This is what I ran when we, when we lost one zip. We're not going to try to... We're not doing this to game the system and try to sneak in that win. Uh, we're just doing it so you can see the loss. So we'll, we'll play it the way we played it last time. Uh, and of course, look at this. Colon and Mines. Why couldn't I get either of those? If I could have got one of those, we could have made it one more spot deeper. Because um, we can beat either of those teams without too much trouble. All right. They are playing what is essentially my favorite strategy, although it's not what we played here because we didn't have any wingers, and frankly, it, it wasn't worth... I would rather just slowly improve the, the positions we have than try to go out and, and do something all new uh, that the players we had weren't weren't good at. So we didn't have a lot of spectacular wingers, so we've, we've gone this, but but I do really like the that setup. And we could drop Ollie or use Kamada back here as a defensive Midfielder or uh, Gennaro also plays that position very well. Uh, anyway, there you go. There's the there's the cheaty side of things. These are all the hidden stuff. I was kind of curious to see as this as this season winds down and we leave how these numbers actually have uh, balanced up to what we've done. We did take a look at injury proneness earlier because we were curious about somebody. Was it Noda? I don't remember who it was anymore. Um, let's see. Do I have injury? Where's injury prone? Is it hiding? There we go. Uh, so here, if you want to take a look, see how we're doing. Uh, Milos Vuletic is 18 for injury prone, and he's already been out of our... I mean. He got injured enough that he was kind of already slid out. Of the, um, and he's frankly just not as good as the players we have now. Uh, injury prone aside, uh, I don't think he's as good as what we have, although we can check that here in a second. Ashinta uh, Noda is our second for injury prone. Haven't had too many problems with him, to be honest. We've had a few injuries, uh, but uh, we've been pretty lucky with him. Uh, Dalibor, we don't care about. He's he is one of those wingers. He's a young guy. We don't don't really need him. He's only up here because uh, we needed somebody who's German for the UEFA Cup. He's actually a month to month. He's not even under contract with us anymore, so I can't move him to anybody else. It's almost worth signing him just so I can send him down to Nurburg too and get him off my roster. Um, Choi Tae Yoon a little bit, Onuka a little bit, Sugawara and Pastor both do some. Everybody else is pretty good. Uh, you can see Juan Jose Vega is our least injury prone. Let's see, have we had any injuries with him since he's been here? Injuries. Broken ankle. Lost two months of him a couple years ago. Uh, Andre Moray is our next. Let's see. 228. He had a bruised thigh this season. Uh, in fact, he just had it. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, he just got over that. And a bruised thigh a couple years ago. So that seems to be holding pretty true. How about Suarez? We'll just kind of take a look to see how these 
you know, sometimes you just get unlucky. See, Suarez, look here. He's had a number of injuries despite having an injury proneness of only two. Um, in fact, he had two injuries last season missing, you know, almost four weeks. So it does occasionally get you no matter what you're going to do. Uh, Patrick Bosa, well, that bodes, look at that. Look at that. We get him some first team football, and my God, just every number keeps climbing. Him and Miguel Torres. Look, when we leave this team, between Miguel Torres, Patrick Bose, and the new kid Zyker, they're going to be in good shape. They really are. Um, anyway, so that's that's kind of injury prone. Let's take a look at ability. Uh, we'll flip it around. So current ability. So right now, Ibrahim Sinogo is the best player on the team. Shinta Noda and Tommy Gordon next with Suarez. So that makes sense. You know, these are these are some of our our more recent. In fact, these are probably our five most recent kind of impact signings. Um, Zykert's down here a little ways, but he's a 19-year-old, I, I think. 19. So we don't expect that to be quite as high. Uh, but yeah, for our kind of adult players, that's about what we expect right there. Uh, but there's not a huge difference, it doesn't look like, between Pastor and, and more uh, Marrera. Uh, you know, 32 to 28. Uh, similar abilities, 42 to 49. You know, it really does come down to, you know, I thought um, when I brought Marrera in, I thought he was going to be quite a bit better than Pastor, which is why we paid money for him. Did we pay money for him? It's only worth 550000 now. Uh, career stats. We paid eight twenty five, so maybe we overpaid a little bit. But um, I really thought he was going to be better, but obviously if we had taken a look at these numbers, we would have seen we were better off to save our 800 and whatever, $50,000, and just stick with Pastor, who we paid considerably more for. We paid $2.3 million for. Uh, I, and, and got more of our money's worth out of him. Uh, and we've gone back and forth. Uh, last year, we brought Marrera in. I thought he was going to be great, but Pastor played very well. This season, uh, we've gone mostly with Mer uh, Andre because he has played better than Carlos has. Carlos is only in now because he was complaining he wasn't getting enough starts, so we promised him we'd get some. But, um, you know, there wasn't not a whole lot to choose between the two. Let's go ahead and look at a potential ability as long as we're here. Uh, Ibrahim, highest potential, Sonoda, Suarez, Marrera, Zykert. There you go. That's kind of what we expected. This is not what I expected. We have not been getting Gennaro enough time. Although I think he's older. He's 29. I don't think he's getting better. Not really. Um, if we would have got him in more when he was younger, maybe three years ago, uh, maybe something more would have happened, but we, we didn't, we screwed up and that's, that's what we're saying essentially here. Uh, we really should have played him more early and, uh, let's see, when did we get him? We've had him for three years and I picked him up on a free. Uh, if we would have, if we would have been looking at this when we started, uh, we would have seen this, and we would have got him out there a lot more. Because at 26, he still had a chance to get quite a bit better. And he's still probably going to get better on the technicals, just not his physicals aren't going to get any better. So, uh, in fact, they're going to start dropping probably next year or the year after. So we kind of wasted that. We flubbed that. Uh, we didn't see it, and, and we, we messed up. Uh, Dave Hoyt, somebody else. Uh, but you can see here Hoyt and Noda, um, you know, they both play the same place for us on that right defensive right. Now, we could play Noda left, because he'll play both sides, um, and play Hoyt there. I think Hoyt's still young enough. He's he's 23. He can get quite a bit better, so uh, maybe we need to do that. Maybe we need to put him in. Um, I didn't realize that either, so that's, again, that's somebody that we've been using essentially as a sub, and he's better than everybody else we have there. Um, let's see get down till we find our other. So Shun Sugawara, we've played him on the right. And we've been playing him a 122 and a 127. Uh, Hoyt's better now and going to be much better. How old is Shun? Uh, same age. Um, but according to the hidden kind of stats, he's, he's not going to improve much. And he does look good. Let's compare him real fast with Dave Hoyt and see kind of what we see. Uh, so Shun's more attacking. Dave Hoyt's more defensive. Well, here you go. I mean, this is one of the reasons we've been playing him, because we play our, our wingers more as attacking players. 
and between attacking vision and more speed, uh, he, he fits kind of the mold of what we want to do. I, I did know Hoyt was a little more defensive. Um, you know, well, we can look at this and see that. Uh, but I didn't realize that we should have been playing him anyway because he's probably going to be better. Um, and if we look at attributes, uh, you know, there's 12 versus 10 for crosses. Uh, finishing doesn't matter. We don't really expect them to score that much out there. We, we did run Restrepo in as an inside forward, but that's because his crossing was garbage. So why leave him out there on the wing if he can't, get the, if he can't deliver the ball in? So we ran him in to, to be more of a, of a goal scoring or at least a disruption in the middle. Um, otherwise, marking is better, tackling is better, uh, heading is a little bit better. So kind of the defensive stats, he's all there. Positioning is quite a bit better, much better teamwork, vision and work rate, uh, and determination of 20. Aggression's a little bit under. He's not quite as brave. Concentration's a little under, but composure's the same. Uh, yeah, and then on the speed, uh, Sugawara has an advantage there with the 17 acceleration versus 16 and a 15 pace versus 13. But Dave Hoyt has a better natural fitness and more strength. So, you know, things balance out a little bit. That 17 balance is nice, too. But again, we tend to play those guys on the outside. However, that does help them as they're dribbling up the outside trying to make something happen. To have that better agility and balance means that they can get around some of those guys occasionally that are trying to make the tackle. So, uh, you know, as they come up there, that may help him. But again, dribbling, Shun is an 8 and Dave is a 10. So he does have slightly better dribbling to balance out some of that a little bit. So realistically, we need to be playing Dave Hoyt. Who knew? You know, this is this is kind of why I figured here at the end of the season, we take a look and see what we missed and see what kind of bounced up and that sort of stuff. Uh, wasn't really planning on doing it for the video, but uh, it makes sense, or at least not for this video. Um, more looking down the road to kind of the final video as we were we were on the way out, but you know, why not take a look at it now? So, so realistically, we should be playing Dave Hoyt in this game, but we'll stick with Shun Sugawara because that's what we did the first time. And then maybe we'll make a swap and see if we like it better. Play him on the right, play Noda on the left, and see how that works out. Uh, Kappa, in theory, has a higher ceiling than Bose and has a better, is better currently. Well, we knew it was better currently. I'm a little surprised at that. Um, He's 28, though. I don't think he's going to get much better. Uh, so even though he's at uh, 123 now, you know, the technicals should get better, but the physicals are going to start dropping off. And as a striker, that's that's the death knell, you know. Uh, I really don't think, I think 123, 125 is probably, I would guess, as good as he's going to get. I expect Patrick Bosa, we're going to come a lot closer. Well, if we stayed, we would come a lot closer to meeting this, this higher. Um, potential. Uh, I just, you know, and every time I look and everything is up, let's do a quick look with Kappa real fast, kind of see how it looks. Uh, overview. I mean, right now, Bosa has more physical and more speed, and, and technical is actually better too, which is really interesting. Uh, but Kappa's got better mentals. He's, neither of them is good in the air. This is kind of, don't even pay attention to this, because this is pretty much garbage for both of them. Uh, mentals are a little bit better. His finishing's a little bit better, I think, and, and vision. So if we look at the actual attributes, we will see heading of, oh, I take it back. Well, heading of 14, but jumping reach of 7. So neither of them can leave their feet. So it, it doesn't really matter. If the ball hits him on the head while he's standing flat-footed, he's great. But beyond that, not so much. Uh, but his long shots are much better, 14. Uh, and his passing's quite a bit better as well. However, you know, 15, 16, 16 up here, uh, that 15 dribbling, Although 13, I mean, that's not a huge difference. Uh, corners don't matter. We don't use them for that. It'd be nice for the crossing to be. Bose actually crosses in quite a lot. He tends to run up the outside and pass in. Um, mentals, though, clear advantage to Kappa, although teamwork, flair, and leadership, leadership being something we have trouble with on this team, are both clearly higher on Bosa. Uh, and that 15 flair is nice, although it probably doesn't balance out um, the 9 concentration. And the, the 13 composure versus 15 and 13. Uh, and the 15 decisions, slightly higher determination as well. But then the physicals, again, 
turn around and, and bounce out for Bosa with that 17 acceleration uh, and 15 pace. So good natural fitness. Uh, one more reason why we don't expect Kappa to survive much longer is that nine right there. So um, anyway, we're essentially trading physicals for mentals, and then these technicals are kind of a are kind of a wash. I mean, the long shots is really the biggest one I think right there that's effective for us. Um, but Bosa isn't as selfish as Kappa, so he's less likely to take that long shot. So maybe that balances out, right? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just think it's interesting to take a look at that. Uh, Anuka, let's take a look at how he compares. Realistically, we should have Gennaro in there right now. Um, Oliver Ockenberg, he's as good as he's going to get. That's what we learned right now, 117 out of 120. He's decent, um, but Onuka, 122 is slightly better. Um, I don't really look, it doesn't look to me, if we look at his stats, maybe it's just not as useful stats. Maybe he's better in things that don't don't matter quite as much for what we have him there. Um, but he could continue to get better, 136. There's still some some room there. Uh, Kamada, 118, 120. He's like Oliver. He's he's kind of tapped out. He is what he is. Uh, same with Choi Taeyun, uh, is what he is. Milos, he's not getting any better. Uh, Dalibor isn't. I guess that's all. I, that surprises me. I thought he had more, quite a bit more potential. He just wasn't something that I thought we had a place for. Um, so we've we've done okay with those. Uh, Carbalios, 120 and 127. Carbalios has been one of our best players the last two years. It, it proves that this ability number um, doesn't necessarily, it's not the be-all, end-all. Um, it doesn't matter what this number is as much as it matters where those numbers are here, if that makes sense. So, I mean, we don't, we don't really care that his corners are a 5. His free kick is a 4. I mean, those bring that overall number. Um, but even heading, marking, and tackling aren't super high. Uh, but he does have okay positioning for our team and great teamwork uh, and great jumping reach. So those those kind of balance out a lot of what we've had him do. Um, so that's a little bit surprising. So, I mean, we see Choi is, should be better than Carbalios. Um, interesting. Um, and I've lost him here now. Oh, different Choi. Ah, Cho versus Choi, excuse me. Choi's not getting better. He's too old. See, everything's dropping. He's 32 years old. The end is here. Um, but we should have Onuka, and we should have Gennaro. Uh, we should be playing them rather than uh, Ali and Kamada. So we, we got that wrong completely. Um, messed that one up. Interesting, interesting. And Anuka is still young enough to get better. He's 25. Uh, Gennaro is 29, so he's probably not. So we missed the boat on Gennaro. Um, but we didn't on Dave Hoyt. We could start playing Dave Hoyt. All right. Good talk. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our Loki Doki squad view. See what we got going on. We're not going to make any changes right now. We we. We've seen what we've seen, but we're not we're not looking to change the past. We're just looking to see it, kind of revisit it a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, three and a half star potential for Dalbor. They show him as two star right now, so clearly my scouts have missed the boat on this. He's a two star current, and he's got a two star potential. Uh, Milos, they pretty well nailed. Uh, we didn't look at Gustafsson. Um, but he clearly isn't expected to get any better. Gennaro, they don't expect to get any better. I think that's more an issue with age. Choi, I think they probably got that right. Now they do show a four-star for Dave Hoyt. And... But they show four-and-a-half-star potential for uh, Shun Shugawara and uh, three-star. And, and it's closer to three and three, probably. Or maybe three and three-and-a-half. So that's, that's when they got wrong on potential. But... Oh, well, now we know. Let's submit the team. All right. They shouldn't fancy Nuremberg to win this one. He's an idiot. They crushed us last time. I mean, the actual last recorded one, whatever. The last league match we had against them.
Um, so yeah, we'll continue. Oh, how do I have it set? Uh, key, main, stand, custom. Yep, that looks all fine. Ah, uh, he's being rested. My advice. Ooh. I don't like all of those go hard, but fur hat is good. I just, uh, my, my, my coach is like too much hard tackle and I would rather do less. Uh, less hard tackle, I guess. I'd like to stay. Oh my gosh. I think. The game is really, really loud in my headset. Hopefully that's not indicative of what it's recording, although I do have the volume turned down about 18 dB within uh, OBS. All right, back just in time to see. Oh, yeah. The screen minimized while I was missing with it. So you guys were watching the game, but I turned back just in time to see Caraballos get sent off. So yeah, we're not changing history this time. Not not with our star defensive player sent off. In, uh... All right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, all right, so let's try that. We've, we've, we've essentially gotten rid of our attacking midfielder. We've slid him back here to our attacking, um, to the attacking role, but for a central midfielder and advanced playmaker, we have just attack, 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 attack. Yeah, we'll just leave him on that. He, he's on an attack duty, so we'll put Seikert there. We'll move Suarez into central midfielder, uh, and we'll put Choi in to replace Carabalios. Uh We will knock this down to counter. We'll sit, we'll sit deeper. We will stick with pump the ball into the box and pass into space, because both of those things essentially will help us clear the ball up. Um, in fact, let's, let's go all in on that. Let's go defensive center back. I don't generally play a defensive center back because they have hardwired to boot the ball up the field. They don't pass their way out, they just kick it. But uh, with the situation right now with Gordon and Bosa, uh, Bosa kind of up there on their own, I think that will help, you know. We're not gonna get possession, but it might give us some counterattack ability. We'll just have to see. And not much happening so far. We've played okay. Oh, we're on the attack. Zyker puts a cross in. Nothing happens. Fair runs down. We've got two people back. Sends it up to Connor. Canner, whatever. Everybody's back. They feed it out to Fur Hat into Fair. Takes a shot off the crossbar. Oh, we almost scored against it with uh, Noda and Sonogo almost came together there. Uh, Tommy Gordon looks like he took a little knock, but he's coming back too, so it didn't show him as injured. But I did see his condition drop there for a little bit. Two minutes of injury time here for the first half. Um, yeah, I, I guess we are doing okay. We're just going to... More the same. Has anybody played terrible? Uh, Gordon hasn't been good, but I think that has more to do with us not being able to get the ball up to him. Um, you know, I think we'll leave Zykert here. He's got a vision of 16. He's got good flair, so he's a creative player. He's still got good teamwork. His passing is 13. Uh, so he's not a terrible position to have where we have him, to be honest. Uh, and meanwhile, we keep his corners and his free kicking and long shots in. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start it up again. I was thinking about maybe taking him out and putting Onuka in. 
but I Onuka's got like a 17 first touch or something obscene like that. But I think with the vision and the and the our corner kicking and free kicking, we'll we would lose those if we put Onuka in. Oh, that was a nice cross in. Missed the head though. We fight on it, get it pushed out. Connor has it for a second. Back to Johnson, Jan Johnson probably, and uh, Fred. First goal of the season, of course. It's always the first goal of the season, right? Uh, we get rid of it once. Well, that was like the third or fourth time we got rid of it, but they're just too much. They kept the pressure on. Eventually, Pastor was out of position. Nothing he could do there. Uh, that doesn't embarrass me too much. I mean, we've been playing with 10 men this whole time. We've only had two shots, uh, but one of those was on target. Oh, Gordon picked up another slight injury. Do we remember what Gordon's injury was? I, I don't. Clearly wasn't at the top or at the bottom. Oh, that was horrible, Suarez. So we walked, uh, got it and then gave it right back. And Sunogo uh, gets a foul. Well, you know what? With Tommy Gordon injured, let's go ahead. We'll we'll sub him. We've got Kappa there. There's no no reason to keep him in injured. Quick talk to Sonogo. Does he get away with it? Oh, no. No, he doesn't. I don't think that one was worth the red, but... Um, oh, and I can't do anything because... Oh, there we go. Um, hmm. All right, Dave Hoyt can play center. No. Great, but he can. He doesn't have any heading ability. Um, heading of 10, jumping reach of 4. So I try not to put him in the center too often. But he, he has decent marking. He's got good positioning. So um, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Oh, they missed the header. I, I think we got a hand on it. And then uh, Choi cleared it back out. Bose is running down. Cleared it up helped, but he, he was unable to hang on to it. He ended up out on the outside right, which is pretty common for him. Uh, Benz gets it. They feed it into Furhat. What's Furhat got? Beautiful cross in. Gerber, maybe? No, oh, Fair got it. Rolled it in just barely in on the right, bottom right corner. Pastor's unable to get to it. They are up 2-0. Furhat running free. Oh, he wasn't even an attempt. It was... He was crossing it for Gerber, and Fair just wasn't paying attention. It bounced off his shoulder. He's lucky that wasn't a handball. Uh, it looked like it went off his arm as much as anything. That was an ugly goal. And now we watch. Come on. Oh, we did so well. And, and even with that, I mean, we're at nine men now. We've still got 48% possession. We're still on the attack for no apparent reason. Nota made it past initially, but then Ben's got it. Feeds it back down. I have a feeling that's how most of ours went. We, we took our time, we got there. What does Fur do with it? Feeds it over to Gerber. Great block by Pastor. Gets another shot in, but he gets blocked out by number 11 there. They've got the corner. Johnson feeds it in. Pastor's there, grabs it. Easy grab in traffic. We got a free kick out of something. Put it down, got a head on it. Johnson, Johnson boots it way up to Furhat. Furhat cruises across to Fair. I don't know that he showed incredible vision. He just ran on it and crossed it. I mean, that's his second touch. Just lucky that there was somebody there that followed him in. Positioning was decent. For defensive, it wasn't, wasn't bad. Oh, it's 90 minutes now. I was going to sub... I saw we were a little bit low, but... Vega. Oh, that was terrible, Vega. And that's game. 3 nothing. Uh, we had two shots on goal. We had as many men sent off as we had shots on goal. Now... I didn't have anybody sent off the first time around, and I don't think we had anybody sent off in any of my simulated ones. 
uh, which was essentially just doing the same thing uh, as what we've done here. Um, so we just got a mucky. I mean, that that's really what that is. Uh, he's going to... But, I mean, we created our own luck in this case by getting sent off. So we'll, we'll tell him we're not pleased. Let's see what the ref score was. 9.6, so clearly those were well-deserved. Uh, he had a good match, so no point in arguing it too much. We'll go ahead and leave. And, uh, yeah, that's that. We've talked for too much. <sighs> Cole crushed Mainz. And we crushed Cole last time we played him. Nine men Nuremberg fade to defeat. I think that's about right. Um, but we, we made a million for the match, and we made another half a million because they changed the time for television rights. So, so we made one and a half million for losing. Um, that's it for the German Cup. We are out. Um, likely to be delighted with their achievement in the competition. Yeah, I am. I think we did well. I'm not upset about that. Um, Carvalos is suspended. Um, I think we'll issue a warning. Tommy Gordon's injured one to two days. Sonogo suspended. Uh, we need to warn him too. Those are, by the way, um, those are our two center starting center defensive uh, players. So yeah, they both accepted their warning. They know what they did. So I mean, if we take a look. Um, Are they not suspended? It's a no-go. Oh, German Cup matches only. Oh, well, that's not as bad, but Sonogo hit his yellow. I don't know why he's suspended. Maybe he hit his yellow cup mat limit the match before for uh, league play. So we could put Ibrahim in there. Uh, we'll put Milos in to sub there. Tommy Gordon's injured. We'll put Kappa in. Uh, we'll put Gennaro in. Anyway, none of that matters to you. So uh, anyway, that was our last uh, cup match. And we are out of the UEFA Championships Cup as well. So that's kind of it. That was that was our, our goal for the season, was to show all those matches. I do have a few matches left. Um, I figure we'll probably come back and show the Hertha match just as a final end-of-season thing, wrap-up, assuming we're still there. Um, now that we are out, I can take a contract to go play somewhere else at any time. Uh, this was kind of all I wanted. It'd be nice to... I wouldn't mind seeing the rest of it. I mean, right now, if we check the positioning, we're in sixth place, which would get us a, a Europa Cup um, playoff spot. Uh, and it'd be nice. I mean, sixth place, let's see. What do we get for sixth place? Uh, that's not what I want. I want rules. Sixth place gets us 67 million. Uh, not a bad, not a bad parting gift. Um, anyway, we'll see. So, uh, unless something else crazy happens, we will be back for Hertha and the end of the season. Otherwise, we will be back to see Liverpool or whoever else we manage to sign on with, assuming we manage to sign on with somebody. Um, I'm a little surprised we're getting some of these. Let's take a look at my profile. I'm still only a two and, I don't know, a third of a star reputation, so I don't really expect to get too many big postings like, uh, like Liverpool. So, I mean, my, my stats are fine. Um, but I don't have a huge reputation, so. Um, and I haven't worked in England, and I don't think I speak English. Oh, no, I do speak English. I'm not sure where I picked it up, but Swedish, English, Norwegian, Danish, Italian, and now German. So, um, yeah, there's that. All righty, guys. If you like to give me a thumbs up, if you hated it, a thumbs down, uh, leave me some comments. Let me know where you'd like to see us go. What what nation would you like to see? Should I turn down Liverpool? Is that someplace we don't want to see? I mean... They did beat my Arsenal on a pretty shady match where uh, I'm not particularly thrilled. The, the final goal they, goal, they were definitely offsides for that final winning uh, third goal there. But uh, So I'm not a huge Liverpool fan at the moment, but it'd be a good team to go to. But if there's another country you'd like to see us go to, we do have um, 
Let me save here real quick. I'll show you who we have enabled. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll keep rolling. Uh, I have most of Europe enabled, and I have North America enabled at the moment. So that's what's there. So that, that's probably where we would go one way or the other. Uh, I have the top two leagues in each of those. In, all the, in the countries I have enabled, I have the top two leagues enabled. We're not interested in dropping down four levels, you know, playing, you know, Northwest Division of Sweden again or whatever we were in. So, uh, but anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about that. If you'd like to see more, then don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you next time. Tschüss.